Welcome to part one of our ballast installation video. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like our videos so you don't miss any more. Now that all three bulkheads are in the boat and ready to go, we went in and did any necessary grinding that was needed to them. As you can see, our third bulkhead was missing the bottom part of it. We did this because we weren't 100% sure how we wanted to bring the water into the ballast tank. Although after we decided, we cut out the piece that was missing and you can see that we used five pound and 25 pound board. The 25 pound board is the black square that you see. We used a piece of 25 pound board in the five pound board so that where our fitting came into the ballast tank, there was a more dense piece of core to prevent any leakages and things like that. So we are treating this tiny piece that we're taping in here, just like we taped in any of the bulkheads, starting with that strip of Cavazil to eliminate the harsh edge there and now we're painting on our thin coat of resin to create a better bond between the carbon fiber and the bulkhead. You can see that we pre-cut the piece so that it fits perfectly in this We also wet this piece out with resin out on a bench outside of the boat so that we didn't make a mess with resin inside of the boat and so we were able to make sure that we don't have any dry spots because a dry spot equals a weak spot. As we have preached in every video, you want to make sure that you roll out all of your air bubbles in your layup. Because where there's an air bubble, that means that your piece of material is not fully bonded to the piece that you're bonding it to, and therefore you have a weak spot. Another bead of cavasil and another thin layer of resin for our pieces of fiberglass that are going to be taping in that small part of the bulkhead to the hull and the stringers. Because of the amount of material that we had left, we did make this in two pieces, but you could make it in one if you wanted.
So here you can see we're fitting the piece. We had to trim a little bit off that corner to make it fit nicely. Because we made this top in two pieces, we have to glue it together with putty. Instead of glassing fittings into the top of the ballast tank, we used carbon fiber tube that we made in-house. By using carbon fiber tube, we're eliminating any failure points that could be caused by fittings. So the way the ballast tank in our race boat is going to work is that the water is first going to feed into the first half of the tank through this carbon fiber tube, again eliminating any fittings. Once the front tank is filled, it will then start to fill the back tank which he is sitting in. We will 100% show you guys how we install the pumps and how the water is going to fill the first tank and then the second tank. But as of right now, we have not gotten to that point because we are waiting to do that once the boat is decked. But as you can see, we did this carbon fiber tube the same way we did the others with the bead of cavasil between the tube and the core. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next week.